hello everybody welcome back to the channel today we are going to take a look at a pen from Kemlin Kokuyo called SD Kemlin SD so this pen came in this box so I'll just take on the pen and so this pen let's talk about it a little so this pen was a tribute to the founder of Kemlin company in India Sharad Dandekar and you can see his initials here on the cap SD and cap says Kemlin here and we have signatures of Sharad Dandekar here on the cap so pen is of nice size the clip is also good the body of the pen is basically plastic but it feels good good <coughs> this pen has a vacuum seal here you know you can see here in the uh, you can see here near the grip it's a it's a plastic ring here or, or rather rubber ring here when we close it it closes firmly and creates a vacuum and when you open it it pops up so this keeps the nib wet and it does not dries out the nib does not dries out easily so the nib i think they only produced fine nibs so you can see here the nib also contains the initials sd it's a dual tone nib the, the, it is the custom made nib and the feed is also plastic so let me open it so it's a cartridge converter pen you can fit a cartridge also into this pen so i changed the converter because it came with the standard converter here but i did not you know like that so i changed it with the jinha one so it takes a decent amount of ink the weight of the pen is quite light not very heavy the size of the pen is not very big so it's easily uh, you know a pocket pen you can easily fit it, it easily fit, fits into your pocket it's a girthy pen not very thin feels good in the hand however you know the pen could have been um, you know made a little longer for uh, and a little heavier for better grip and better balance so the nib is I think number three nib I don't know yeah maybe number three nib so let's do a writing sample for for this pen so the pen is Kemlin SD today I have Waterman Serenity Blue Ink in it. Okay, let's write something. Okay, so the nib uh, gives a lot of feedback. It's a fine nib, so it is expected, but not that much. So it is not very smooth. I had to apply pressure to write. So this is another thing that Camlin can improve on this pen. This is a very good pen, but if they can improve on the nib, this will become a great pen. The wetness is fine. It's a little on the drier side though. And you can see some line variation also. So overall I would say if they can work if Camlin can work on their nibs and you know and the weight of the weight and height of this pen, this pen can become a good pen. Otherwise it looks good feels good in the hand and obviously 
this is a and since it is a uh, I think I don't know if it is limited edition or not but it is a you know tri tribute to Sharad Dandekar the founder of Kamlin so it's good to have this pen and thanks for watching